Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial on test link from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how you can add test steps to the test cases that we have created before. So as you can see in the left hand side, we have a couple of folders um, got created for uh, the test suite. And then below that we have the test cases. So to add the test step, it's pretty simple. Uh, just open the test case and if you haven't added the test step before just click on the create step and here you will see uh, the step actions being listed so step actions and the expected results so you can say step one um, uh, test step and simply um, test result all right so you save it and then it will open the next step all right so you can just keep doing that until all your test steps are being added successfully okay and i have added four test steps here and once the test steps are added you simply save it uh, or click on save and exit okay so now you can see uh, four test steps have been added to this particular test case under checkout similarly uh, you can go to the other other test cases and add these test steps so these test test steps will be um, visible when you go into the test execution part of the test case then um, you will see these test steps and you can follow the test steps when you are testing the application and mark these test steps as pass or fail uh, depending on what the behavior you are um, seeing the actual behavior now once um, all these test steps and all, all your test cases are ready uh, then you can go ahead and create the uh, the test plan so to create the test plan um, simply you have to go to the test plan management and as here you can see there is a test plan so what i'll do is i'll just remove this test plan and go to the default state how it will look initially so on all the items in the right hand side uh, that you were seeing before won't be visible unless and until the the test plan is created so by default only test plan management link will appear and once you create the test plan then all other items for adding the test cases and test execution will appear in the right hand side so let's click on test plan management and create a test plan all right so i'll say sample um, test plan one uh, just copy and paste it and i'll say active and public and just click on create now you can see the test plan got created and the number of test cases in this test plan is zero and there are no builds as of now okay now if we go back on the home page now once the test plan is uh, got created you can see all different items are available so you can see items for the builds and releases and milestone overview and then you have option to execute test cases uh, see the test cases assigned to you uh, different reports and matrices and um, option to add and remove platform and test cases so all of the right items that you see in the right hand side will only be visible once you add at least one test plan right now the test plan got added now let us add the build and releases because in the software development lifecycle you will be executing your test cases against a specific build or a release right there won't be any testing that will be happening um, just ad hoc or random on any uh, any of the version so there will be a specific version or release which which has been planned to be released and you will be testing against that particular release so having the build or release is very important so you need to define the release as well or the versions the software that are going to be released now just define uh, the version so i'll just say version one and i'll say release date as 31st of august and create it 
okay so version uh, 0.1 got created let's create another version 0.2 and we'll give the date as september uh, end of september let's say 30th of september and click on create now you can see two versions or releases got created okay now if you go back you have the plan you have the build and release created now it's time to add the test cases to the test plan all right and then start executing those test cases against the build or release that you want to test now to add the test cases simply go to add remove test cases link and in the left hand side you will see all the test suite and test cases available and here in the right hand side you will see sample test plan available with zero test cases shown shown there right now to add the test cases simply select the folder or uh, the test cases that you want to add and once you select the folder or click on the folder in the right hand side you will see all the test cases below that particular folder available right now what you have to do is you have to assign to user on add so as soon as you are adding the test cases to a test plan you can select the user to whom you want to assign these test cases in your test execution that is that you can do when you are adding these test cases or you can also do this assignment later so what i'll do is i'll just assign while i'm adding to the particular user and then which version these test cases need to be assigned to so i'll select version 0.1 and if you select this checkbox um send mail notification to tester then tester will be notified by email that some of the test cases have been assigned to him for execution um i'll uncheck this for now and click on add selected now these four test cases now have been assigned to this particular test plan so if we go back and see the details of the test plan click on that now you can see there are two versions or builds version 0.1 and 0.2 and four test cases being assigned to this particular test plan now you have um, you have defined your test plan you have added your test cases to it and you have defined the version or release against which you want to execute these test cases now the next step will in the software development life cycle is to execute the test cases right and then after execution you will either pass or fail uh, the test case and depending on the execution cycle and execution that has happened then you come back to the metrics or the reporting part of it so let's see uh, let's go back and see how you can execute the test cases so so um, to execute the test case let's uh, go back and on the admin page uh, if you go to the execute tests link uh, it will open the sample uh, test plan that we have created um, so simply just select the test case that you want to execute uh, that has been hasn't been run and here you can see um, whom this particular test case is assigned so uh, you, you can select the test plan from the drop down since there is just one plan uh, just select that one and against which version or build you build you want to execute that so version one um, 0 